The United States Federal Reserve has recently made headlines with its announcement regarding the use of XRP. Senior Vice President David Andalfato from the St. Louis Federal Reserve Branch has highlighted the potential integration of RippleNet for processing payments, specifically RippleNet's reliance on XRP as a facilitator for these transactions has been emphasized. To quote David Antifolti directly, the Fed might assign settlement responsibilities to an external party, such as Ripple. This development, if it materializes, suggests a significant increase in XRP's value, potentially reaching the $10,000 mark. Additionally, it's important to note that this move by the Federal Reserve doesn't come as a surprise. A few weeks, or perhaps a month ago, there was an official statement from the Federal Reserve acknowledging the potential role of XRP and XLM in enhancing the blockchain component of their FedNow payment service. The spotlight is on Ripple, known for its innovative solutions in cross-border payments and its open-source technology for financial transactions. The integration of Ripple's technology and the FedNow payment service is anticipated to be a key factor in driving XRP's value to unprecedented heights. Hey there, Moneyside family, your trusted source for all things XRP related. Before we dive, do me a solid smash that like button, hit subscribe, and toggle on notifications to join our community. And hey, we're rolling out an epic XRP giveaway once we hit 60,000 subscribers. It's easy to throw your hat in the ring with just three simple steps. So make sure you do all that. Drop a hashtag Moneyside in the comments to secure your spot. Let's dive straight into today's topic. We're focusing on Ripple's collaboration with the Federal Reserve as officially announced on the federalreserve.gov website. The report titled, The U.S. Path to Faster Payments in its first section, The Faster Payment Task Force Approach, acknowledges Ripple as a key player in partnership with the Federal Reserve for Payment Solutions. The report specifically notes Ripple's ability to facilitate real-time international payments, which traditionally take two to four days with limited tracking and fee transparency. Ripple revolutionizes this by offering complete visibility on payment status and fees, along with instant settlement. We then uncover that Ripple and the Federal Reserve have extended their collaboration to include domestic payments. There's extensive documentation supporting this, which viewers can pause and read. A crucial excerpt from the report mentions the partnership of central banks like the Bank of England the Federal Reserve, and the Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority with Ripple for domestic payment system enhancements. Another interesting aspect of the report is its mention of Ripple Labs' innovation at the fundamental level of payment processing, focusing on offering a free, real-time settlement infrastructure globally. It indicates that Ripple's decentralized peer-to-peer -peer settlement framework is set to replace existing systems for fund transfers, with the Federal Reserve planning to adopt and implement it. Reflecting back, there were early indicators of this development. About a year ago, the Ripple logo was prominently displayed during a Federal Reserve segment on Fox News about exploring a digital U.S. dollar. Furthermore, institutions like the Bank of International Settlements, BIS, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the Federal Reserve Board have included Ripple in their Operating in the Shadows Partners list, signaling their interest in Ripple's technology. Delving deeper into the intriguing world of global finance, it becomes apparent that the Bank of International Settlements, BIS, handles a significant portion of the world's wealth. Ripple's entry into this sphere is a development worth noting. We have a statement from the Department of the Interior. Quoting Jess Chan, a senior counsel at the Fredericksher Board of Governors, Jess, a former deputy general counsel at Ripple, is reportedly at the forefront of this initiative. For those interested in the finer details, there's a lot to unpack here, and it's all quite interconnected. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. What I'm about to reveal might surprise many of you. Recently, the Federal Reserve issued a warning about potential bank losses due to real estate pressures and rising interest rates. Interestingly, they've been in discussions with several partners since early March about this. Moreover, it seems that BRICS and the EU are set to adopt XRP. The European Union has even indicated that XRP will be the foundation for the new digital euro, managing wealth transfers via the XRP ledger. There are multiple reports supporting this claim, pointing towards an imminent surge in XRP's value. A leading expert predicts a short-term jump to $500.50, with potential to reach $10,000 as it gains global traction. This insight is attributed to Arthur Brito, a co-founder 
founder of Ripple. As we dive into the video, it's clear that the narrative for XRP is evolving rapidly. Moving beyond the SEC versus Ripple saga, we're now observing BRICS nations decisively opting to develop their central bank digital currency on the XRP ledger in collaboration with Ripple. Breaking news suggests that this central bank digital currency, championed by BRICS, will be a significant global financial instrument. And there's evidence of Ripple's extensive network within each BRICS nation, which we're going to explore in detail. Let's start our journey in Brazil, where a groundbreaking development has occurred. In partnership with Ripple, Brazil has launched a revolutionary crypto on-demand liquidity service. This initiative marks a significant step forward in the country's financial technology landscape. Next, we turn our attention to Russia. Extensive documentation reveals a strategic shift by President Putin towards diversifying away from the petrodollar and the USD. In light of SWIFT's decision to exclude Russia from its payment system, there's been a notable pivot towards Ripple Labs. The goal? To develop a Russian CBDC, central bank digital currency, on the XRP ledger. This move not only counters the SWIFT ban, but also leverages the decentralized nature of the XRP ledger, ensuring Russia's continued participation in global finance. Shifting focus to India, we find Ripple at the forefront of another significant project, powering India's ambitious Digital Rupee initiative. This project represents a major leap in India's journey towards a comprehensive global CBDC, all underpinned by Ripple Labs technology. But the story doesn't end there. China, too, has entered the fray, collaborating with Ripple to make inroads into the realm of central bank digital currencies. This partnership signifies Ripple's expanding influence in the global financial arena. In Africa, the narrative is similar. The 2022 African Blockchain Report shines a light on the growing relevance of CBDCs on the XRP ledger across the continent. The report notes that South Africa, along with over a dozen other African countries, has adopted Ripple and XRP for their payment processing systems. This widespread adoption underscores the ledger's increasing importance in Africa's financial ecosystem. And finally, in a recent report by BRICS, XRP was highlighted as a premier digital asset for payment services. This endorsement by BRICS cements XRP's position as a leading player in the world of digital currencies. In light of recent developments, there's been a surge in price predictions for XRP, with some particularly notable forecasts capturing our attention when leading financial experts publicly predict an XRP price of $500.50, it naturally prompts a deep dive into research. Our findings led us to an intriguing source, ChatGPT a leading AI bot. This AI highlighted four cryptocurrencies, including XRP Ripple, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano, as being poised for a staggering 100,000% increase by 2024. Such a price point for XRP shouldn't come as a surprise, especially when considering the perspective of Ripple's co-founder, Arthur Brito. He envisions XRP reaching $10,000, a value he believes it was specifically designed to achieve. Brito also emphasizes XRP's scalability, capable of accommodating the financial needs of the global population estimated at 7.5 billion. So, what does dollar 500 signify in this context? In the grand scheme of things, dollar 500 is just a stepping stone towards XRP's true potential value. However, achieving this monumental price of $10,000, which is the intended target for XRP, requires global scalability and substantial financial throughput via the XRP ledger. Further reinforcing this trend, 21 countries have officially agreed to move away from the US dollar, with virtual institutions increasingly collecting collaborating with AI to develop CBDCs on the XRP ledger. This shift suggests a growing trend of central banks partnering with Ripple and, more importantly, integrating the XRP ledger into their operations. A testament to this trend is the recent decision by Dubai's central bank, which, just three days ago, fully endorsed XRP for use. This move by Dubai is yet another indication of the growing global acceptance and implementation of XRP. Please remember, I am not a licensed financial advisor. The content presented in these videos is purely for entertainment purposes. I always encourage viewers to conduct their own research and consult with professionals before making any financial decisions. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you turn on the notifications to be the first to know when I release new content. I'm excited to catch up with you in the upcoming video. Take care.